Okay, here we are at the exhaust shop. How y'all doing, Mercedes fans and YouTube? Um, we are at the exhaust shop doing the uh, secondary cat delete on the uh, W210 wagon. Our same one that shows the exhaust mod video. It's got the Flowmaster. You saw it in my, in my other video posted on my channel there. Flowmaster in the back, the wide pipe, the resonator's been deleted. Okay, there's the wide pipe. We ought to see it. That's the wide pipe. Just a year later, the secondary cats are kind of plugged. So I'm having the head muffler break here to do the secondary cat delete. They're unmonitored and they are um, showing plug from the temperature. So we're taking them out and having them put straight pipes in their place. Okay, the front cats are still going to be here. More on that in just a sec. Okay, well there's the first one. That'd be the passenger side one right there. Well, in a sec here, we'll see the driver's side one. Yeah, the uh, passenger side, I think it was, no, the driver's side was more blocked. And here it comes. Cat drop. Trying to see your secondary cat. Like that. And <laughs> okay, there it is with the cats gone. Both cats, see you later. There they lay on the ground. They're dirty. They're also very hot. I'm not going to touch them now. We'll uh, clean them later or check them for blockage. Alrighty, so this is an exciting moment here. We've got a big increase in performance. The Y pipe's already there. The MagnaFlow. I hope it's not too loud for the wife. Okay, for a different perspective, there's that. Flowmaster, whatever, can't remember the number. Uh, the one they put on last year. Yep, yep. And there's the getting all lined up. Yep, yep, looks good. Looks very good. Okay, he's cleaning up the pipes that are going in there. Yep, very cool. They have fit new pipes, but for the welder. To torch them up. I'll turn this off so we don't get the blinders on. Looks good, thank you. Alrighty, there it's in place. Let me see how she runs. Thank you. Okay, yeah, there they are. Slight angle, but they got them in there just right. Looks good. Uh, pretty stripped down exhaust system now. Front cats are still there, so we're fully legal and fully functional on the front cats. Uh, mid, middle one's not needed, we're good. See how it runs. Okay, pardon me if this is sideways for some of y'all, but here's our first ride and drive impression after leaving the exhaust shop. Um, you know, it sounds better. It's definitely throatier. I don't really can't say that it's any louder. It's almost like the tone has changed, but the volume is the same. Um, we will see. Obviously, it takes more than just a quick drive, but i got to get us up to temp here. Um, that's not bad. I don't even know if she'll notice. You know, we're looking for an increase in performance and mileage. Uh, this is a 19-year-old year 2000 E320 wagon, of course, with the V6 M112 engine. Um, mileage just started to drop about a mile, mile and a half per gallon uh, overall mileage and definitely uh, around town and I suspected the cats were blocked so uh, the, I had rear block cats on my um, on my E or my what am I saying my ML500 my V8 engine uh, but otherwise somewhat similar laid out uh, Mercedes SUV the W163 model so I knew that rear cats getting blocked uh, on these older Mercedes were kind of a, a pretty common thing. So anyways, that's what led me to uh, notice the dip in mileage and then I put it up on ramps and I checked with a non-contact thermometer, infrared thermometer. Uh, I just got the $25 one at Harbor Freight 
gets really good reviews and it, it was real accurate and it uh, got a digital readout and what I found on properly working cats you should have a uh, 50 to 100 degrees hotter at the back of the catalyst than the front so it should be cooler in the front hotter in the rear as it does its job heating up the exhaust gases and presumably burning them off well on one that's getting blocked it'll be the other way around it'll be hotter in the front and colder at the back and that's what I found on my driver's side it was 100 degrees warmer at the front than the back and on the passenger side it wasn't quite as bad it was about 50 60 degrees hotter at the front of the cat versus the back and I just aimed the thermometer right at the joint just immediately in front of the back or in front of the cat to get those temperature readings and um, so there you have it <clears throat> um, block cats equals poor performance that explains why the mileage was dipping down and um, well here there's the sound for you I hope you're hearing this uh, I think it sounds really good I think it's an increase in in sound tonal quality sounds better to me um, and then we'll see how it is at highway speeds that's kind of the key thing is what's it like and get it up to speed here so let's make a run go a few miles east and then we'll turn around I'll kind of pause it and give you the highlights here oh yeah that's nice much more responsive oh my gosh it's back to its old self <laughs> yeah see that that was kind of there a year ago uh, about exactly a year ago when I did that other video you can see here on our channel um, I had got rid of the resonator did a resonator delete um, put a Y pipe in its place because uh, this exhaust is two into one two I think two and a quarter inch exhaust pipes into one two and a half um, and I upgraded the muffler. The, actually, the stock Mercedes muffler was, was rotting out. It was completely uh, just trashed. So I went ahead and um, got rid of that rotted Mercedes muffler, and they put a, I believe it's a Series 40. Uh, I think I've got in the video description for that, if you watch that video, the exact uh, model or the muffler. I do. I mentioned in the video. But it's a year later, and I'm, I can't quite recall. But anyways... It was this, I think, a Series 40, smaller, much smaller uh, Flowmaster they had in stock, and um, uh, didn't even pick it out through Amazon like it did on the ML 500. I just had them install what they suggested, and the price was pretty reasonable. So we will see here. Here's our first test at speed, and I'm checking on the mileage as I can change my settings for my mileage reading start getting a baseline and they say because this is all adaptive in the computer brain of the engine management software that it all has to adjust anyway so you're not going to get the same exact mileage and tone and sound and effect you know a week or a month or 500 miles from now as you do right now because everything's got to adjust to the new settings and the new flow rate and so forth but it feels like a huge improvement um, the engine feels much more lively and it, it didn't feel bad before, but it had slipped. It was kind of like more than once I was accelerating. I'm like, wait a minute, where'd all my power go? Because this thing has a very powerful 220 horse free revving V6. Anybody who's got the Mercedes V6 knows it's a fabulous engine. Um, but now it's back to its old self. I can tell that straight away. Here I am, the first three miles of the new uh, second cat delete. That's what we have going here. Uh, for to put a finer point on it, is second cats are now gone, straight pipe in the place, and I will try and get a picture or at least describe to you what the inside of the cats look like. They're still a little warm uh, back in the trunk, but we'll, uh, we'll get to those pretty soon. And oh wow, now I see I just won that flat section of highway, and it's showing 30.6 for an average. I don't think I've ever seen it go above 30 for an average before. And then as I climb the hill here. Uh, it's still saying 28.0 is as low as it's going, and that's a pretty good grade. Pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, and the praise the Lord thing is there's no major increase in noise. In other words, if I don't tell the wife what I've done, I don't think she'll notice. 
I don't think she's even going to have anything to complain about, which could only be a good thing. Because I'm just not wanting to put universal cats back in their place. There's utterly no point in that nonsense when you consider the front cats do a beautiful job of cleaning up the exhaust. So, to be continued. Okay, well, um, here we are a few miles later. Um, it's just running great. I, I, I'm so glad. And, by the way, too, your local exhaust shop ought to be able to do that for you. I was in and out of there in 35 minutes. Uh, very reasonable $80. How can you beat that? There's just no point for $80 bucks, uh, for trying to do this in your driveway. Because in your driveway, you'll have to be on your back with very little room to work, hitting it with a sawzall, and then trying to fit pipes in there. And these guys had me in and out quickly. And the welding job they did is way better than me clamping. I'm going to do my driveway anyways. So this is cool. Um, the highway mileage is looking real good here. I'm my mileage here. Let me see uh, where are we at. Um, 27.1. Only just, I reset it four miles ago, and uh, the one mile average is 28.5. Um, so these are some really great numbers, and this has always been a very fuel efficient car. But the one thing I've noticed is I do have a bit of seepage on my um, my valve cover gaskets, and it's very normal on the Mercedes V6. But you tend to have more seepage if you have more back pressure, and I learned that on our our V8 in the ML500, which is really just the same engine with two more cylinders. So that many of the things are identical about the two engines, and one of them is. Um, they tend to have CB valve cover gaskets, but here's the key thing. It's worse when your cats are blocked and you have basically back pressure too much that you're trying to blow through uh, dirtier clogged cats. So exciting stuff. It's uh, better now and um, feeling better. And uh, I will try and get a static shot or maybe a, a snap a picture of how blocked those cats are holding them to the sun or something. Um, anyways, I hope this is a guide to some of you out there. I didn't see any videos on YouTube covering deleting the rear cats and um, on a Mercedes V6 uh, M1112 engine. This is the E-Wagon, but what I'm doing would probably be identical on any V6, even if it's in light, like the C-Class. Um, the compact class, C class, or a CLK, or an SLK, or a, um, a E wagon, or an E sedan that has the 320 V6. Um, so I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. It's a different system from the uh, uh, from the front cats back. Basically, they're all stock. Everything's good there. And it did look like somebody had replaced the front uh, driver side catalytic at one point. The way it was welded and connected into the manifolds looked a little different than the um, than did the uh, passenger side, which looked all original. Okay, so here we are. Let's get a little bit of a full throttle thing going on. Wow, that's extremely powerful and smooth, and sounds absolutely great. And guess what? Um, better, better by far than before. Very nice. Back, I would say back to its original high performance feel, and the noise isn't bad at all. The wife, I'm not even gonna tell the wife. <laughs> she won't mind. She's not gonna notice. Alrighty, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please chime in in the comments below if you have any like and subscribe and send this to your Mercedes forum buddies or whatnot. Um, we got to stick together on this stuff, you know, because the the amazing thing is these cars can last a long time, but you really got to manage them. Once they get above two hundred thousand miles and uh, fifteen or twenty years, you really got to get your act together because stuff is starting to fall apart or have troubles if you ignore it. So, anyways, God bless. Enjoy your uh, your affordable luxury bends. That if you're driving one like I am, just laugh all the way to the bank because this thing drives and runs like a dream, and it costs me peanuts to keep it going. So, good deal. Thanks for uh, for uh, enjoying your ride. We'll enjoy ours, and we'll be in the middle. Please leave a comment. Bye-bye.